Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Cinepede Geek. Today I'm going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon an A&E television series by the name of Bates Motel. I'm going to talk about Season 2, Episode 1, titled Gone But Not Forgotten. So if you've been keeping up with Bates Motel, just so you guys know, there will be major spoilers, both for Season 1 and the first episode for Season 2. If you've been keeping up, you know that Norman Bates, last time we saw him, he killed off his teacher. That's pretty much, this This picks up, you know, pretty much right after that, and then I believe it progresses like four months later, if I'm not mistaken. But his character, you know, is having to deal with, you know, he killed his teacher, and he's pretty much having to deal with the after effects of that, hiding it from everybody, hiding it from the town, hiding it from his mother, and, you know, he actually ends up telling his mother in the end what he did. Doesn't directly tell her, but she gets the point. She's not stupid, right? Uh, and, you know, his, the cop already, I didn't know it was going to come this soon, but the cop character is already very suspicious of what he did. You know, he's already sort of putting, the th putting things together, you know, tying loose ends. He's already sort of figuring out, I'm pretty sure, what he did, but he doesn't exactly know yet. Bradley's character tried, you know, committing suicide by jumping off, a, you know, a bridge into the river. So she's, you know, been in the, you know, in an insane asylum for the past few months. And she makes a very critical decision in her life at the end. A decision, a big twist that I never saw coming, actually. Ends up killing someone at the end. And I'm assuming that person is the one she thinks killed her father. So that's the reason she killed him. Though we don't fully know yet, but I'm pretty sure... That's what happened. That's pretty much the main just with a lot of other things going on too. This episode mainly revolves around Vera Famiga's character. She is actually trying to stop the road bypass from being built because it's going to take away business from it's going you know take away business from her motel. But that's the just of episode one, season two of the A and D television series by the name of Bates Motel, titled "Gone But Not Forgotten." Overall, my review of this episode. This was a great episode. If you guys don't know, pretty big fan of Bates Motel. I really enjoyed the first season. One of my favorite things about it was the characters and the human relationship. It's one of those sort of slow build series where not a lot happens in every episode, but I loved that about it. It was kind of a slow build series and things don't actually start happening later on until about five or six episodes in. But if you give it that, it starts to get really cool. I love the slow build up. I love how it develops its character. It's one of the it's honestly one of the best, you know, sort of developed characters. A lot of times in TV series, they don't build their characters very well, but in this one, they build them in just the right fashion, and they continue to do so in season 2, episode 1 of the Andy television series with the name of Bates Motel. I love the human relationship between Vera Farmiga's character who plays Norma Bates and then Freddie Highmore's character who plays Norman Bates. Their relationship between our two main characters, mother and son, is great. We have a very overprotective mother, cares about her son, wants him to do well in life, and then we have sort of a son that's very unstable, you know, trying to make something of himself, but he's very unstable. He doesn't know the right decisions to make in life, especially, in, you know, the one at the end of season one where he kills his, you know, so he's obsessed with death, you know, he, you know, he taxidermist on animals and stuff, uh, I believe it's a beaver he does in this episode, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyways, you know, so we have these two things going on. I love how his character developed, how he's obsessed with death. He can't quite get over the fact that he killed her. Even four months later, he wasn't even very close with her. But he still can't get over the fact. And I love how they explore into that. You know, the, their relationship, the whole concept, you know, is very personal and it's intimate. And I like that relationship. Best scene in this episode, in my opinion, besides towards the end, you know, where she finally, you know, she shoots the guy, and that was kind of a big twist moment. Uh, and then I do like, the, the, you know, the conversation between these two uh, when he finally, you know, she finally finds out what happened. Uh, but best scene, in my opinion, was when she was actually in the courtroom. She was at the town or the city meeting, says, you know, hey, you know, she calls the guy a dick. She says, hey, don't build a bypass. It's going to take away from, you know, take away my business. Kind of a selfish thing, but, you know, she's got to support her family. She's got to do what she has to do. So I like that scene a lot. It really showed off the acting of the actress by the name of Vera Farmiga. She's a great actress. Definitely my favorite character in the show. I like the way she betrays her character. I like the way she, you know, gives off her lines. She's just really cool to watch her mode herself. She's just a really cool character. And then, obviously, my second favorite character is Freddie Heim. I do like the cop also. I believe the actor's name is... I can't... I can't remember his name right now, but the cop character is also really cool. Obviously, his brother, there is still deep involved in the weed business, and 
you know, so we can see where that's going to go. You know, he, he got involved in season one, and now he's, you know, really deep involved and won't be getting out probably anytime soon because uh, he's the one that sort of provides money for the family. Uh, theories and speculation on the rest of the season in general. I know we're supposed to meet a new love interest for Norma Bay. She's supposed to, you know, you know, fall in love with somebody else, so a new love interest. Her brother is supposed to come back into her life, you know, the one that raped her in the first episode of the first season. Uh, so, you know, we're going to see him, see the troubles that he might bring. Uh, and then, obviously, I believe there are some guest stars, such as Michael Eklund, among several others. Uh, you know, I believe we meet the drug lord. You know, I believe we meet some other people that are involved in the drug business. So those are just an idea of some of the characters that we're going to meet. That's my thoughts and opinions of episode 1, season 2, titled Gone But Not Forgotten, for the A&D television series with the name of Bates Motel. Once again... Thanks for watching another video by Centipede Geek. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and page below. I'll see you guys later. More videos by Centipede Geek.